Hi Booktube, it's Thea and I'm here with a review for My Grandmother Asked Me To Tell You So You're Sorry by Frederick Backman. This video was not sponsored but I did receive this copy for free in exchange for an honest review from Grace at Loving Them Books for the Booktube Tours. I was chosen to be a host for the Booktube Tours and I will have all the links down below for Booktube Tours as well as Loving Them Books and uh, all the book links related to this book and as well as a giveaway if you would like to enter and win a copy of this book. If you don't know, this book follows our main character whose name is Elsa and she is seven years old. She is very different for a seven year old age. She's intelligent, she's funny, she looks up things she doesn't know on Wikipedia. Elsa is obsessed with Harry Potter. She loves Harry Potter more than anything. It's her favorite thing. She loves comic books and she has a Gryffindor scarf that she just absolutely loves and doesn't go anywhere without. And she gets bullied at school because of how different she is and has no friends. Her only friend is her grandmother who, uh, in order to help her not feel as bad about being different and take her mind off being bullied at school, creates this land that helps Elsa called the Land of Almost Away. After her grandmother dies, Elsa is left with letters addressed to all of the people that her grandmother has wronged, apologizing to them, and Elsa has to go on this adventure to deliver all of these letters. And through this adventure, she discovers a lot of things she didn't know about her grandmother. My favorite character is definitely Granny. She's wild and crazy and kooky, but you can't help but love her. And even though she does crazy things, and I would, I, you can't imagine your grandmother doing something like this at the same time. You do see your grandmother acting like this. At least I see my grandma acting like this. Um, and she loves Elsa to a fault so much that she gets in trouble for her to help Elsa feel better after she gets severely bullied at school. Um, but she just, she is a wonderful character who feel for Elsa. You feel like a part of you is dying and you feel like I cried. I felt like a part of my grandmother had died. But Granny is just a wonderful character. Elsa is an amazing girl. She is so different and so unique and Frederick Backman just really um, wrote Elsa amazingly. Um, I have heard from a few people that they didn't like the way that he wrote Elsa because she, the language that he uses and the way he talks, um, the way he writes that she talks is not accurate to a seven year old. But I think that's the point and I think that works with the story because of how advanced she is for her age and how she is always looking up things on Wikipedia and she's definitely smart, way smarter for her age than she should be. And so I think her sounding older than a seven year old isn't obviously intended, but it works. For me, it worked really well because you get a feel of how much smarter Elsa is and that she um, at times can be smarter than a seven year old, but at the same time, she still does things that remind that that remind you, oh yeah, she's only seven, of course she's gonna react that way. Like when she gets into some things with her mother and when she, she finds out her grandmother dies, like she still acts like a seven year old. And so it was, for me, it was very believable, very realistic, and I just love the way that she was written. And for me, it felt like, I kind of felt like Elsa, like I felt like I was seven and um, I just, I absolutely love this book. I can't gush about it enough. I have nothing but good things to say about this book. I absolutely loved it. Um, it would have been a five star read for me if it did take, if it didn't take as 50, about 50 pages to get into, but I highly recommend this book. It is absolutely amazing. I, it's not something that I would normally go out of my way to read, so I'm very, very glad that I got chosen to be a host because I probably wouldn't have picked it up and read it any other way. But I'm glad I did because I'm really enjoying his writing style and I can't wait to pick up his other two novels. Um, I just absolutely love this book and I don't want to say too many things without giving spoilers away because I definitely want everyone to pick this up. And I feel like um, going into this book without expectations and not really knowing what it's about is way more enjoyable um, because when I was chosen as a host I was just I mean I honestly had no idea what this book was about going except for you know the, the little description that was on um, the tour page 
but I knew the author had written a band called Ooh, which is on my TBR list, but now I think I just pushed it up higher up on my TBR list. Um, but I definitely think you should go into this book not really knowing what to expect or really kind of expecting much when you go into this because I think it's way more enjoyable. I absolutely loved it. Four stars. Thank you so much, Grace at Livingston Books and um, Simon and & Schuster and Booktube Tours. I absolutely love this book. I give it four stars. Definitely check out the link to the giveaway and enter to win a copy because I highly recommend it to every single person. Uh, if you like this video, as always, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.